student forced to remove pro-Trump shirt after teacher spots three words on the front. A seventh grade student from Georgia was excited to go on a field trip with his class. In fact, after getting permission from his parents, he decided to wear a pro-Trump shirt on the trip. However, the young boy never expected his teacher to force him to remove the shirt after she saw the three words written on the front, and now, his parents are furious. Jackson Jester, a seventh grader at DeKalb Schools, was excited about his class field trip to CNN's Atlanta headquarters. Considering his parents, Nancy and Stan Jester, are both elected officials in the district, he decided to ask permission to purchase and wear a pro-Trump shirt on the trip to make a statement. This year when the CNN tour was announced, my seventh grade son Jackson asked me if he could purchase an FNN Fake News Network shirt to wear for his field trip, Stan Jester wrote in a blog post, according to Fox News. Jackson wanted to wear the shirt to mock the liberal news network CNN, which has garnered the reputation as fake news. As an advocate for the First Amendment, I agreed to his request, Stan Jester said. His mother cautioned him that he might cause a controversy and needed to be prepared for that. He was fully aware of the implications of his decision and made the affirmative choice to wear his shirt. However, on the morning of the field trip, Jackson excitedly put on his new t-shirt and headed off to school. However, after he arrived, he was left shocked when his teacher spotted his fake news network shirt and forced him to take it off. Of course, Jackson obliged his teacher's request and went on the field trip without his new shirt. Meanwhile, his parents received a phone call from the school's principal on the morning of the trip, notifying them that their son had been instructed to change his shirt, according to Rare. Since then, the Jesters have announced that they're disappointed by the hypocrisy in the school's decision. In fact, they believe that the school has violated their son's First Amendment right by making him take the shirt off. Some students are celebrated when they make a controversial display during the national anthem, Stan Jester wrote. My student was forced to remove his shirt because someone didn't like it. I defend speech and expression, even if I disagree, or it makes me uncomfortable. He has a point. It's not fair for the school to respect one student's right while infringing on the rights of another. If they're going to let students make political statements, they need to let every student share their opinions, even if it is on a shirt and even if it isn't something they personally agree with. Of course, the school has since apologized to the gestures, but Jackson's parents feel that it's not enough. They hope that the school will apologize to Jackson himself, solely because the whole thing was his idea and it was his right to free speech that was violated. In an attempt to justify her decision, the teacher has since claimed that she thought his shirt said FCNN, but it's obvious that the shirt doesn't say anything of that sort, and it definitely seems this teacher is grasping at straws to keep herself out of hot water. Let's hope she's not a reading teacher if she seriously couldn't make out that the shirt said fake news network. Sadly, this is the trend in our country. Most likely, this teacher feared offending the employees at CNN, so she made her student take the shirt off not realizing that the right to free speech is for offensive speech. Speech that is not offensive doesn't need any protection. So, hopefully, this teacher doesn't teach government, civics, or even history because it doesn't seem she has a good grasp of those concepts either. What's worse, it seems this educator fears the possibility of independent thought. Perhaps the shirt could have been a conversation starter. You never know what the employees at the network could have had to say about it, and it could have provided the entire class a chance to discuss the growing trend with CNN being fake news. But, we can't have that. That goes against the leftist propaganda that's pushed in so many public schools. So many people in our country are getting offended by the most ridiculous of things, and sadly, someone who thinks for themselves is one of the things they can't stand the most. This student was simply wearing a shirt. It's time these easily offended people grow up and accept the fact that we all have differing opinions, and not only is that okay, it's our right to express them. Press them.